What is a fire alarm enunciator? Well, in this video, I'm gonna tell you what it is and then also give some demonstrations. A fire alarm enunciator, such as this one, allows you to control basic functions of the fire alarm system without having to actually be at the fire alarm control panel. These are great because if there's a fire between you and the fire alarm control panel, or if it's a really long distance to walk, you can just use the enunciator and control the entire system from there. Now there's a lot of different brands and types of enunciators out there, but all of them pretty much have the same basic functions. Today, we're gonna to be looking at the Firelight LCD ADF enunciator. So with this enunciator, you have an acknowledge button, you have a silence button, you have a drill button, and a reset button. You have an AC power light, an alarm light, a trouble light, a supervisory light, and an alarm silenced light. Um, right here, you have an 80 character LCD. That's why it's called the LCD ADF. And then right here, um, this is a key. You cannot do anything on this enunciator without having the key in it and turned. That way, um, random people can't control your fire alarm system. If you don't like the key function where you have to have your key in and turned in order to use it, you can disable that using some dip switches in the back. So let's go ahead and simulate a trouble condition and see if we can figure out what it is by looking at the enunciator. So as we can see, we just had a trouble condition come in. We can go ahead and acknowledge it. And the other piezo you're hearing is the panel. So anything you do on the enunciator, it also does to the panel, okay? So as we can see, we have trouble, smoke, photo, invalid reply. What invalid reply means is somehow the panel is not seeing the smoke detector. As you can see, it is the second point on the system. So with this, you can um, infer that the head of the smoke detector has been taken off and that's what I did. So we'll go ahead and put back on the head and see if the trouble goes away. And as we can see, the trouble did just go away, and now the panel is reinitializing. All right, now we're going to go ahead and initiate a fire alarm event, and we'll do that just by pulling this pull station right here. So looking at the enunciator, go ahead and stick our key in and and acknowledge it and silence it. So as we can see, we just silenced the alarm system uh, with the enunciator, and we can see that the alarm was a pulse station and it was 0.7. And in the panel settings, you can program like 0.7, you know, downstairs office area, but I don't have any of that programmed in. As we can see, um, the alarm silenced light is on, and we can go ahead and now reset the entire system from the uh, from the enunciator. And the system is resetting and reinitializing. Now let's simulate doing a fire drill. This feature with this enunciator is very helpful because if this is in a place like a school, then you can just put one of these in the main office or near it, and whenever you need to do the fire drill, you can just go up to the enunciator and push the fire drill button. So this right here is the fire drill button. It says drill, hold, two seconds. So we're gonna put our key in, turn it, and then hold this drill button for two seconds, and the alarms will sound. And then once you're done with the drill, you can uh, acknowledge it, silence the alarm, and then reset the system. So now we'll go ahead and demonstrate that. Key in, turn it, that, enable, that enables the enunciator, and we'll go ahead and do a fire drill. All right, fire drill's over. and the system is now silenced and we can do a system reset. 
So that's my demonstration of this enunciator, the Firelight LCD ADF. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and have a great day.